the project that I've just done. You can see we've got Four Motion Dance Company there. Hatch My Ideas for Music. This is a CPD session I ran for teachers across Slough to improve their creative art provision. Here's me with mine and Ben from Willow. We just designed how we would deliver a project. He's now going to run that at Willow. Another thing that I've been proud to do this year is to develop other staff members and a farmer on there. Okay, so what does the future hold? I want to have, uh, I want to lead creative curriculum. This is something I'm passionate about, something I'm strong in, and I have the expertise in. As you know, and I've been developing staff, Saba, Ben, Kamal, there's lots of people with those skills that we can work together as well to improve. Um, children teaching each other. I want more of this to happen. I saw an, an excellent lesson yesterday where year six pupils designed a maths board game and then went and taught it to year one pupils. We all know that you learn more if you teach to someone else. I want to see more of this happen in school. Um, learning how to learn. This is something that I really think we could concentrate more in school. I know that Penwood School uses, Langley Grammar School uses. These are contacts that we can help, you know, to, uh, to bring to us. Children need to know how they learn. Okay, also celebrating success, celebrating leadership within the pupils, junior leaders. This is another area of the school that I'm going to be contributing to next year. We need a whole new batch of junior leaders. They uh, will be observing lessons, doing lunchtime duties, and helping us to evaluate the school. We had a really successful junior leader and parent workshop earlier in the year where they completed the what went well, even better if evaluation, and it made an impact on us helping to improve the school. You know, as well as eco warriors doing swap days and textiles recycling and taking environmental issues on board. The debate team last week decided to debate Michael Cove, um, to debate Michael Gove's plans to. Uh, extend the school day short on holiday. It was interesting because that same week SLT discussed it. I thought it was brilliant. We've got 10 year olds discussing the same things as senior leaders. You know, this is all being put in place by things that I'm doing. Dragon's Den, children design, made their own products, sold them. They took leadership. And then our diamond writers who've been doing the school newspaper. All of these groups I'm supporting, okay? I'm helping children take ownership of themselves. Parental engagement is another thing I lead on. Been really successful this year. This is Willow. Willow had their first school fair. Lots of parents came, raised a lot of money, and the feedback was wonderful. It's helping bring this new school together, meeting the new faces, the new staff, the parents. Very successful day. Awards even at marriage. That's again something that I put together last year with the help of a few other key members of staff. It's very successful in the process of doing another one. Parents loved that we were celebrating the good things that children do in school. As well as this, we've got parent skills audits going on, we've got parent helpers, and we've also got a new PSA starting in both schools. All things that I'm leading on and making a big difference to us. Um, this is Target 5 for our Aspire Plan. We need to get more parents involved and engaged to then impact children's learning. Um, more parental engagement, that's Willow's Christmas production. They went to Winds and did it on a theatre. You know, something really special for Willow there. Okay, and then leadership. I believe fully in the shared leadership initiative. I am hoping to instill that passion in teachers that they want to develop further and find our leaders that we have across the two schools. I've already been supporting a few uh, staff members this year, particularly Saba, Ben, Alex, and they're really taking ownership and going out and leading on things. I trust them. I'm creating a climate of trust in the school where if you're good at something, you go and do it, okay? And then...
25 that these children currently, currently in year 4 are attaining below the expected level, okay, in writing. So, going from Pag Corbett's training, you can't write it unless you can talk it. I meet with these children every morning to get them to say it first, to say it from memory, and then they've got that scaffold in their head for when they come to write. I've already heard from them this week that their writing levels have gone up. They're saying to me, Miss, this is really helpful. I've managed to use this sentence. It's really doing them a lot of good. And I'm pleased to be impacting on literacy and maths as well as creative arts. I've got a whole school approach. Okay, I think it's important to mention that I've done ITL and I am a Middle East trainer because the skills I've learned about leadership are really beneficial and have provided me what I need to develop that further reading skill. Um, this is the last thing that I'm going to end with. Uh, during my art camping project, a girl that we have in year five wrote these lyrics. And I thought that they really spoke true of abilities for all people to have in themselves. With good teaching, um, they can achieve what they want to do. They can follow their passion. They can do whatever they want.